Okay yeah, guys, disappointing result today, but it could have been so much different if we'd have had that penalty inside five minutes, yeah, I think it, it was. It was one of them, wasn't it? Um, definitely a penalty. Um, but, you know, even their bench said it, but that's, we hey, can't keep going on about that. Thought first half we were well in more in the game. Um, thought we, we got to grips with their shape after 10 15 minutes. Uh, our usage with the ball was good. Um, we, we scored a great goal, another great finish from Grace, and then you get half time and you, you, you sort of de dejected a little bit going 2 1 down. Um, and again, could have been stopped, we didn't engage down around the box for him to score. But the second half, I'll, I'll, we've just spoke about it, we, we ran out of petrol a little bit, and um, you know, you're trying to bring subs on to try and counteract the injuries. Burks had to go off with a, a niggle with his thigh, Dan Burns felt a little bit sick second half, so we had to obviously. You know, for the welfare of him, bring him off, and again, you square pegs, round holes, and I just thought we looked a little bit ragged at the end, um, and it was a case of the, the biggest disappointment for me was keeping the ball. I mean, we had sometimes we're giving it away, cheap possession, too many times, and that played into the hands of base. They were top side. Um, so it was always going to be tough, but if you give them possession cheap, how many times we did second half, that's the most disappointing thing. Um, it's going to be a tough day. Yeah, I, 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 you said exactly what I was thinking. You know, we didn't keep the belt ball well enough when we had it, and a side like Baseford, you've got to play, beat your best, haven't you, to, uh, to to stand a chance. And, but we did have some chances setting off. I mean, we had a good five or ten minute spell, um, culminating really with uh, Josh Green hitting the post, and on, on another day, exactly. that could have gone in. We've said and we're back at two all, aren't we? Yeah, yeah we've, we've, we've said it. Well, we've said it quite a few games this season. It's, it's a great strike from Josh. The keeper's booting all ends up. It's the post comes out. You know, that's that's the luck you get when you're near the bottom of the side, bottom of the table. Uh, but but I, I'd echo what Alex has just said. You know, we, it was almost like today we we'd been on a long journey. And we just ran out of petrol. Last sort of 15 minutes or so. You know, they got their third goal, which was a killer. I don't know when it came. 85 minutes, something like that. Just kind of that, that, that just sort of deflated everything. Uh, but I think Alex has hit the nail on the head. Second half, in possession, we weren't as good as we have been recently. You know, surrendered the ball cheaply. And if you do that to a team like Baseford, they're, they're very clever. They'll play the ball around the back a bit. They don't necessarily put you under pressure all the time. They pick their moments. And I thought that that was a difference between, between them and us today. Yeah, they knew they knew how to keep hold of it, didn't they? Yeah, they did. It just felt retained yeah, the ball. And, uh, you know, for a, for a long long period of time in the second half, and, and and you know, as Alex has said, with the injuries and square pegs around goals, you know, I, I can't fault the lads for their effort for the full team, but we, we just came up short today. We just came up short, simple as you know. We we got off to a, as we said, we mentioned the penalty, and then Baseford went down the other end and, and scored. That was a bit of a disappointing goal to concede. I think it maybe shouldn't have really got the ball across in the first place. Well, I don't know what, what our lads were appealing for. I think, you know, Hilly's saying there's something gone on there, uh, which the referee said to him in his mind there wasn't enough contact. So, Hilly thinks there's some kind of foul gone on there. Uh, but it, it is a sloppy goal, and it, it just comes a couple of minutes after the, the cast iron penalty appeal. And I don't know what the referee's seen there, because everybody everybody's seen it as a penalty. And I think then there's another one in the first half where there's a clear hand ball. It's Jack Sherrod's shot, wasn't there's it? There's about five or six people yeah. appeal for the hand ball. It, it's clear, and the referee tries telling telling you that his hand was by his side, which is absolute rubbish. Uh, but that's that's again decisions go against you. But that that hasn't cost us a game at the end of the day. Uh, we've, we've always been in with a shout up until the last five minutes or so. When it, you know two one, we were two one here last year, and we came away with a point. This year it's gone the other way. The third that, that, that third goal by them has killed us. But, uh, you know, it's the disappointment is we've had such a great week, you know, a point away at Scarborough and a, and a three points away at uh, Staley Bridge. Um, so that's the disappointment and everybody's hurting in the dressing room and, uh, you know, again, we're looking at a couple more injuries there. And it seems like, you know, we need somebody to look down on us and say, you know, give us a bit of a break there. But, uh, we've got, at least we've got a week without a fixture now where we can uh, look to get a bit of recovery and maybe get a few people uh, available for the uh, sub game. Yeah, so Joe Burke's went off. Is that an injury picked Again, up today? until tomorrow, probably until it's settled down a little bit. We'll know a little bit more tomorrow. But, you know, we have to make a change, a, a force oh, change. Um, but, yeah, listen, it, it was a game too far, it felt, for us today a little bit. Um, and you can't give cheap possession like we did. It, you know, it was... 
was poor for, for the standards that we've set. What's the news with Luke Jones's injury? Hopefully, um, potentially back Saturday. We didn't want to really risk him today, did we? Because if anything went untoward today, then we'll probably definitely be out with him for two or three weeks. So it's a case of just making a miss today, unfortunately. Um, but like I say, we'd, that's where we are at the moment. And, and we're, you know, we've, we've got to get them back. We might have to get one in. Who knows? We'll, we'll, we'll assess it as the week goes on. Okay. Thanks, guys. Cheers. Yeah.